It's gonna be like the devil went down to Georgia and I'm about to whoop your ass at checkers and get the hell out of here. folks how the hell are you welcome back to layers of fear um we i'm fairly confident we're drawing a picture of our wife so i think that's what it is i don't know why it looks so grotesque but uh we got a finger we have one finger um and it looks like we got one cabinet left to unlock so this will probably be the final episode so without further ado we're just gonna hop straight into it uh, it says trial and error, just like it did when we uh, left the study with the ever-changing uh, library with the cell phones. Not cell phones. Telephones with the, the dials, dial rotaries. Do you remember those things? I played with them as a kid because that's how outdated they were. Uh, I've never actually used one to make a phone call, though. Does that make me feel old? Absolutely. So I can only imagine if you're over the age of 30 or 40 and you actually ever actually did use one of those to make a call. How old that makes you feel. I'm um, probably older than these apples. Which I don't know how they're still alive. They look old as shit. Dry. Definitely need to wash them before we use them. Before we eat them. The jump scares have kind of been slowing down lately in the game. I'm... I guess that's to keep the good pace. Maybe. The fuck is that? Is that supposed to be cool or what kind of demon you drawing? Is that what your wife looks like now? With a pet rat coming out of her boobies? I swear. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he painted rats on the back. Okay, they're gonna teleport. They're gonna teleport me to the mothership. Hello? Whoa! Okay, so the house, we set the house on fire to get rid of the rats. Did it work is the real question. Because now I'm just not even seeing a painting, I'm just seeing the carpet below. I've begun to learn that the crying that happens a lot is our wife. Martha! Baby! What have, what, what have we talked about? No, I don't want to. I don't want to have relations. All right, Martha. Not even Guns and Roses can make that that sound fun to me. I'm sorry, baby. We're gonna have to go our separate ways. Oh, that was kind of cool. It looks kind of like a face. You see that? I wonder if that was supposed to look like a face. Well, it looks like a face. And well, we're not using that door. It's like the zombie apocalypse happened. We're just trying not to let anybody in. Which is fine with me. Because the only other person in this house is Martha. Baby, don't look back. Oh, you know I got to. Huh! Okay, figured there was going to be a jump scare there for not looking back. Aww. We had a color run in here for charity. For the, uh, the ugly duckling charity of people that <laughs> just are ugly. I don't really know. I'm sorry if, if people think they are ugly. Nobody's actually ugly. Um. There's somebody out there for everybody, so don't don't think just because you may personally feel that about yourself that you are indeed 
ugly. Nobody is ugly. That is a proven fact. I will I will die on that cross. Nobody is truly ugly. Except for evil people like Satan and Hitler. They, they were very ugly people on the inside and the outside. So, I'll give you that. I will give you that one. Even Hitler had a girlfriend, right? Let me open the door, Martha! This is my house! If I want to open the door, put in a bunch, put an indoor swimming pool, and it be 3,000 feet deep, I'm going to do it, damn it, because it's my house. If you don't like it, you can build a swimming pool on the other side of the house. I'm, uh, I, what is the goop? That's one question I do want to know. What is the goop that's everywhere? This, this ectoplasm! Can you even paint anymore? No, I done told the puppers I can't paint anymore. I'm not an artist. A, pu a fucking Ouija board? No. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, okay. I'm not playing with a Ouija board. No. There's already enough demonic shit happening. I'm not touching the Ouija board. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not touching it. Uh-uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's where I draw the line. I don't do Ouija boards, damn it. That is one of the only things that truly terrifies me on this earth is Ouija boards and demons and shit. I'm already dealing with demons. I'm not going to make it worse by playing with a freaking fracking Ouija board. Baby, you okay? Are you okay? Daddy's here. Uh, believe it or not, I'm not drunk. Your mama's playroom is uh, destroyed, but uh, that's okay with me. Somebody in the... There is it. a lamp. That is a mobile light device right there in old 1800s. It's a mobile light device. We used to ride these babies for miles. Just in case we ever ran out of that. Right there, you see what this is? This is the first portable flashlight right there. Man. Modern American ingenuity. It's just an arc. It's just an arc. Dr. Xavier with a headpiece. I dig it. I dig it. The walls are breathing? I know. That that what you're telling me? Ugly toilet. Whoa. Whoa, no reflection. You're a vampire, Michael. God damn shit sucking vampire. And what is not taking so long? so long? Open this fucking door. I need to go. Open up. The hell is it? Oh God, no, 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 no! What have you done? No! Oh, she committed suicide with that knife. The bathtub always has answers. I've seen enough horror movies and played enough horror games. I'm getting in the tub. Okay. My house is underwater now? Martha. Baby. I'm sorry. I chickened out. I chickened out. Actually, I just took my finger off of it. I didn't think that that would affect it. I'm, I'm gonna hold it down this time. I apologize for that shit. It's an interesting game mechanic. I'm down with it. I dig it. Unless it gives me a jump scare. Baby, you okay? You drowning? Not sure. Hope you're not drowning. 
That could be bad for both of us. Try this again. Is it gonna do something different? Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Somebody's drowning in a wheelchair over there. The hell? Come on, keep going. We're gonna keep waterboarding ourselves till we memorize every bit of this. I don't like this one. Uh, creepy ass dolls. Is, I mean, I'm not scared by dolls, but they scared the shit out of me in this game. Is this the end? Is this the ending? Okay, so I passed out. Awesome. Someone had to bear witness. An eyeball? I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience. A critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it. Scooped it up like ice cream. Felt like a butcher. A monster. But at least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. Did you use a literal ice cream scooper? You know, I, I cream scooper? Because that would be incredibly ironic and kind of funny. If you just used your digits, that's just freaking weird. Ugh. I mean, we all know that you're certifiably insane. Wait a minute. Hello? This isn't my study. My study was well lit. A lot more than normal checkers. Are we playing eternal checkers or something? A different kind of checkers, maybe? There's another checker. I'd say this was awesome, but they've done this same exact shtick a couple times already. You want me to play checkers? Okay. I'll play checkers. I move? No, we're not playing checkers? Our way out of this room. Oh, it extended. Uh, a big rat. Am I missing something here? I have to piece everything together. Uh, do I have to find a two checkers pieces per area? Is that what we're doing? No? Not what we're doing? Just go back in here. Hello? Hey, the creepy demon voice is not gonna get me this time. 
I'm being completely honest. It's not going to get me this time. I mean, you've done the same shtick a couple times. Like... You've also done the same shtick. I feel like I'm missing something here. Is there something I was supposed to have, have actually found? I missed something? I don't see the significance of this one. I know the other one um, was the kid. See the significance of uh. Oh shit, oh shit, are you, oh shit, okay, fine, yep, range of that, uh, I figured that one out, there's some more checkers, cool, I've got my trusty dusty eyeball, what more do you want from me, I found you two checkers pieces, Satan, It's gonna be like the devil went down to Georgia and I'm about to whoop your ass at checkers and get the hell out of here. Hopefully. Okay, so more checkers pieces are floating. That's cheating, Satan. That is cheating. The checkers have to stay in the same spot. You can't just toss the board every time I start kicking your ass. suspended in the air now there's a dead rat for dinner what do you stand to win my freedom from this nightmare hey brother bear how's it going That's what I'm trying to do at this point. I'm trying to escape the nightmare. Okay, so. We have found some stairs. Oh, okay, that's a little bit creepy. Oh, check her. There's significance to the checkers pieces. Besides uh, that little scene we've seen about the daughter playing checkers. And good thing we didn't bet. Okay, so there's another checkers piece. Whoa, okay. Hey, calm down, killers. I'm I just don't understand. Oh. Uh there's a drawing of a demon. Right there. Uh, that's an ugly drawing, but I'm getting the picture that that's probably Martha, because she looks like that right about now. Oh, a note. Who are you even playing with? Myself? I guess. Kitchen. Awesome. Yeah? I don't know what that is. I should have looked at it before I grabbed it. I am so sorry. 
I got paintings hidden in my cupboards and in my oven. I don't want to be... Oh, I get it. It's a weight. I don't want to be ungrateful and act like... I'll say I'll save my uh, review till the end. We're just gonna we're just gonna play through. Come on, Satan! Let's finish this game of checkers. I've got other people's asses to whip at checkers as well, right? I'm an international checker man. May not be an artiste no more, but I'm an international checkers man. Well, is the checkers over with? No? I was going to say I was going to use the toilet, but uh, I guess I'm not doing that no more either. I'm not going to use the stairs. Uh, yeah, there's that. Um, it's the big baby. It's baby face. That's no baby face. What the hell is that? A rat and a demon in, in hell on a pedestal? What? Where's the music coming from? Hello? Okay. The golden checker piece? And then there was one? I really enjoy your symphony, but I would like to know what's going on. Your symphony is great. You know what? Just keep playing it loudly in my ears. is just going crazy. It's a heart. Kalima! Kalima! Okay. So we're going to add the last piece, finally, to our art. See what all of this trouble was, what it was for. Yes, that's it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Martha really is beautiful. Perfect. Just like I always imagined. Whoa! Wha what is this? I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's the no. real her. Stop it. Please. <laughs> I was so close. This time, I almost had it. What? Well, I got all my fingers. The hell? He's just got a room of the same painting.
So these are what the paintings actually turned out looking like. And he's just seeing them that they're not perfect. Because he's not perfect. Right? And that he's been in this house the whole time. That was... All the stuff that was happening was in his head. Just like I thought. We were in his head. I don't know where I'm going. Music's nice, though. Soft, calming. That's how you know we're at the end. But yeah, that room full of his wife's paintings. He can only see the horrors. When in all actuality, he was actually painting beautiful portraits. Yep. Look at me figuring stuff out. Creepy hallway. Here. Oh, can I unlock it? No, okay. But the whole point of him not being able to see the true beauty is kind of a mirror because obviously he started hating his wife after the accident and became an alcoholic. Even though she was still a beautiful person. But everybody knows. So it's what's on the inside that counts, not... Not... Beauty on the outside. Oh, and it starts over. I get it now. He relives that horror every single time. For eternity. I think is what they were getting at. Was that no matter what, he finishes the painting, but he can't see it for what it is. It's true beauty, but he can't see it. He thinks it's horror. Uh, horrifying and grotesque so he throws it in that room grabs his key and starts over on a never-ending torture cycle within his own brain very abstract thought very very abstract way to write a game that's just my theory i'll look it up that's incorrect y'all can laugh at me now but uh we're just gonna sit here and see if there's an after credit scene and then i'll go into my review Okay, Layers of Fear. Very, very, very quality horror game. Riddled with jump scares. I jumped out of my skin. I don't know how many times I cursed. I screamed. I knocked over my microphone at one point. And, and just those quick jump scares, they hit constantly. They hit you with a lot at the beginning of the game. Kind of slow it down a little bit so that the jump scares are a little bit bigger after they build up a lot of tension. And they get it. So if you don't like jump scares, well... Might not be the game for you. If you do like good stories, however, this is a great game for that. If you take out the jump scares and it was just me wandering around doing this, I would still have found it to be a good story. It's got a lot of underlying tones, underlying themes, right? True beauty's inner, inward, not outward, right? He couldn't see the paintings as beautiful even though they actually were. So pretty much what I picked up from Layers of Fear is you're inside this guy's inside this guy's melon the whole time and you're seeing what he sees as, as he descends into madness he loses everything he ever had his wife his kid and his artistic talent goes down the drain too i don't know what else i can say about it it's a good horror game is it as good as some of the other AAA titles like outlast no i don't think it's as good as outlast i think it's better than a lot of the indie horror games that come out do I think you should play it? Yes, I think everybody should at least play this game once. Uh, I might play the Inheritance DLC. I might not. I'm not sure yet. And I might play Layers of Fear 2. It just depends on what we got going. So, with that being said, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell like it owes you some money. And we'll see you in the next video. And I've been needing a little bit more love in my life. Oh my gosh, Martha! Martha, get the hell off of me! I 
was wrong! I was wrong! I don't want it anymore! I don't want it anymore! Oh my god! You look like you fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch 